Hi guys, my name is Natasha and welcome back to my channel. Here I make videos about my country, Russia. And today I will tell you about how we celebrate Halloween in this country. It's unusual because Halloween is not a Russian holiday and I decided that it would be interesting to investigate how this foreign holiday managed to take root in Russian culture. And yes, this is my Halloween costume. The scariest thing this year. Coronavirus! Please don't unsubscribe. Okay, let's go. Let's talk a little bit about history of Halloween. This holiday originated in Celtic-speaking countries, mainly on the territory of today's Ireland, Scotland and the Isle of Man. Halloween's prototype was the Celtic pagan festival of Samhain. This holiday marked the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the darker half of the year, when all the evil creatures were able to come into our world. Influenced by Christianity, Samhain was combined with the Christian holiday All Hallows Day. That's how it got its name, Halloween. In the 19th century, with mass Irish and Scottish immigration, Halloween became a major holiday in the United States. Since then, it has been transforming to that Halloween that we know today. One year ago, I was spending my exchange year in the United States, and there, in Minnesota, I got this true Halloween experience. There was a Halloween party in my dormitory. My costume was a reference to the movie called Midsummer. Midsummer is the Northern European celebration of summer solstice. And in the movie, there were girls in these traditional dresses and they were wearing wreaths with flowers. I was in a traditional dress too, but my wreath was made not of flowers but of autumn leaves and literally pieces of my midterm exam. So I was a midterm queen and the idea is that the midterm exam is scary, so is the Halloween, and it's like a wordplay. Then I went to a front party in that long dress and it was awkward. Another girl from Russia, my friend Anya, was dressed as a communist because there's nothing scarier for Americans than communism, she said. I just love it. Okay, Halloween is a big holiday in the United States, but let's go back to Russian soil. During the Halloween week, owner of one restaurant in Khabarovsk decided to decorate his restaurant with pumpkins. But after local people saw it, they decided that they can take it home, so by the morning of the next day, all the pumpkins had been stolen. People were coming even with their families to do this. That's just hilarious. But this is just one bad example. It's not always like this. My friend from Moscow sent me these pictures. Somebody made these beautiful jack-o'-lanterns and just left them on the roadside. So, in Russia we do celebrate Halloween. But how it come that in a country where there have never been Celts, we celebrate this holiday? The answer is globalization. Halloween appeared in Russia about 20 years ago, along with the fashion for the American culture. We have the same symbols – costumes, pumpkin carving, decorations, etc. The only thing we don't do is the trick-or-treat. I guess it's impossible to go to people's homes, because here we live either in these project buildings with intercoms or in village houses guarded by dogs, so just impossible. I don't exactly remember the moment when I first learned about Halloween. I remember that in my childhood I was watching a Russian educational TV show called Galileo, and there was an episode about how to make Halloween-looking food. So it seems that I've always known about Halloween somehow, and it is very unusual because in Russia kids don't encounter Halloween parties, so we as children don't celebrate it as much as the New Year's or our traditional holiday called Maslnitsa. So anyways, when I lived in Spask in my teenage years, I went to costume parties in our local cafe, and for me and my friends it was just a cool activity, it was interesting for us to create all these costumes and to hang out with each other. In Khabarovsk, I celebrated Halloween in my university. There was an international students club, and every year we were making Halloween parties for both Russian and foreign students. This year I didn't celebrate Halloween as a party. I just went to the cinema with my friends to watch a horror film. And I actually filmed it a little, so now let me take you to the cinema. Let's go. So today is my official Halloween celebration. As you can see, I'm in this 
very creative costume. The cinema theater was decorated with Halloween symbols. Then I met my friends, we bought popcorn and went to the movie. We watched The Witches. In Russian it's called Vedma. It's interesting that in Russia we watch foreign films not with subtitles but with dubbing in Russian. So you can see American actors speaking Russian fluently. So this movie is actually a remake of the 1990s film of the same name. I like the new film, but I think that witches in the older version are scarier. So this is how I spent Halloween this year, but what about other Russians? On Instagram I asked my friends from different cities to share their stories about how they celebrated it and that's what they told me. My friend Anton made a house party with ghost costumes and pumpkin carving in a hookah bar where he works. The staff was dressed in costumes and there were decorations all over the place. My friend Kira celebrated Halloween in her dance studio. They decorated it and they were making face painting for people. It was very cool and atmospheric. Vlad works in a pub and there he carved pumpkin balls for his beer. Halloween for him is a pumpkin time when he makes porridge, soups and pumpkin ale. Ksusha went to a nightclub and there was a cool photo shoot. Nastya just made a house party and a photo shoot with her friends. Lydia enjoyed every Halloween decoration that she saw in Kabarovs. And my friend Alina went to a Halloween party in the nightclub and there was a guy with Mona Lisa costume. Let the so, for Russian youth, Halloween is just a reason to wear cool costumes and to hang out. We don't see it as a tradition, but just as a party theme. There is nothing wrong about it, but some Russian officials strongly oppose Halloween and they see it as a threat to Russian identity. For example, State Duma deputy Vitaly Milonov came up once with an initiative to prohibit the celebration of Halloween in Russian schools. And Vsevolod Chaplin, the priest of the Russian Orthodox Church, said that there is an element of some kind of rebellion against the Russian spirit, against our history and tradition. I don't agree with them, but there are some interesting things to discuss. In fact, there are some traditional Slavic holidays that might be close to Halloween in meaning and symbols. For example, Christmas Tide in Russian is called Sviatki. This is a time between Orthodox Christmas and Epiphany. It's celebrated between January 6 and 90 of each year. At this time, people did future telling dressed up in animal skins, horns and masks. It was believed that these days the world had not yet been baptized, therefore evil spirits walk on the earth. This holiday is shown in Soviet film The Night Before Christmas also known as Evenings on the Farm near Dikanka, based on the story of the same name by the great Ukrainian writer Nikolai Gogol. People went from house to house, sang humorous Christmas carols, it's called Kalyatka in Russian, and for this the host treated them with some food, which looks very much like treat or treat on Halloween. Another holiday is Kupala night, or Ivana Kupala in Russian. Among the traditions of the festivities, they are cleansing with fire and water. Young people jumped over a bonfire, danced in circles, weaved wreaths and gathered herbs. It is celebrated on July 7 and is dedicated to the summer solstice. And here I see some interesting similarities with Swedish rituals shown in Midsummer. Honestly, I'd like to see a Russian movie that will be showing and honoring our traditional Slavic holidays. And it would be so cool to celebrate Sviatki or Ivana Kupala today. But we in Russia don't do it at all. Of course it's sad that we don't celebrate our traditional holidays, but it's not because of Halloween invasion, as some people might think. Halloween just found its niche, being more modern and understandable for people. I'm meeting some very radical statements. It would be correct to say that Halloween is a completely artificial thing in Russia alien for our culture and just copied from the West. But we at least acknowledge this. And I think there's nothing bad in this holiday and it's just amusing to see how this foreign thing managed to stay afloat in this stream of multicultural exchange that we all experience today. 
That's why I don't think that celebrating Halloween will affect our Russian identity in any way. So this is my opinion about this holiday. Thanks for watching, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Write in comment your opinion about Halloween. Do you celebrate this holiday in your country? How do you feel about it? I also want to thank my patrons and people who supported me on PayPal. Thank you guys, I really appreciate this and this is what really keeps me up. And thank you for 2k subscribers, wow, I'm so excited seeing more and more people subscribing to my channel and willing to learn about Russia from my videos. Okay, see you in the next video, goodbye, пока-пока!